Beef will show you who's boss. They're big animals and there's a lot of muscles. The technique of butchery really comes into play, but I love discovering different ways to approach certain primals in a way that gives me more flavorful, less common cuts to put in my butcher case. My name is Rob Levitt and I am the chef de cuisine and head butcher at Public and Quality Meats. This is the chuck. Traditionally, the chuck is divided into big cuts for braising or stewing or grinding, but here we kind of dig a little deeper and we can pull a lot of little muscles out of the chuck roll that are really delicious cuts. One of my favorites is a steak called the chuck eye. From the same muscle as the rib eye, it's where the rib ends and the chuck begins. And the first chunk of that is very similar to a boneless rib eye. And then the rest of it is a little more of like a roasting cut. And that's where we cut the boneless country style ribs. It's a nicely marbled cut. It's gonna fight you a little more than just like a regular steak, but if you give it a good marinade and a good hard grill, then it's got a ton of flavor and it's a really fun, kind of less common cut. The Sierra is kind of a funny little flap that almost looks like a flank steak that sits right along the back of the chuck eye. We pull that off and run the jacquard on there. We encourage people to marinate it. It's also really great for a slow cook. You sear it and you let it stew for a long time. I really like the Denver. It's a very well marbled piece at the top of the chuck roll, right behind the neck bones. It's great for slow cook it, but I prefer to cut it into steaks. You can either cut little blocks of it and sear it, or you can slice it thin and put a little sea salt on it. It's very easy, especially in beef, to find new ways to do things. A new approach, a new angle, a different seam to follow. To me, it really is a craft. It's a challenge, but it's also really fun and super versatile.